Today, a big local announcement about clean energy. The federal working group launched the new Illinois Basin Rapid Response Team. That will bring together 11 federal agencies with local communities in efforts to make getting federal dollars a little easier. News 3's Rachel Gartner has more. SIU Student Center Conference Room was the grounds for the announcement, spearheading the rapid response team to support Illinois Basin energy communities. Brian Andrews says aiding once coal heavy regions struggling with energy transitions is their goal. And who have seen job losses in the coal sector and, and will continue to see those losses and bringing federal agencies together, about a dozen federal agencies to provide opportunities for the economic revitalization of these communities. And in doing so, USDA Rural Development Farah Ahmad says, for communities in our region, this is only the beginning. And what we're trying to do is listen and learn about what their strategies are and connect them to the right tools and opportunities that the federal government has to offer. Bridging the gap between communities and federal dollars and grants that sometimes can be difficult to navigate. Federal co-chair for the Delta Regional Authority, Corey Wiggins, says this group is solution-based. So often we, we get in rooms and talk about all the problems and all the challenges. But this is about making room to be very solution oriented and getting things done. Murfreesboro Mayor Will Stevens says just having these federal agencies right here in Southern Illinois is important in itself. These groups are going to come away from here today. This isn't going to be just a meeting that was on an agenda where they stayed in an office in Washington. This was a meeting where they breathed the air, they saw the roads, they understood the people, they saw the housing, they under, better understood the issues. And that really matters. Reporting in Carbondale, Rachel Gartner, News 3.